Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. As you all know, Color OS 12 closed beta files have been leaked, and those files can be installed on OnePlus 8 series, including OnePlus 8, 8 Pro, and 8T. I've already installed it on my OnePlus 8, and if you guys want to install, I'll leave the installation guide in the description below. And if you're not able to install using that guide, let me know in the comment section below. We'll do a dedicated video on installing Color OS on OnePlus 8 series. So here you can see this is my OnePlus 8. Let me show you the software information. Color OS version is version. 12 and device is OnePlus 8. Android version is 12 and the security patch is 5th December 2021. I've been running ColorOS 12 on my OnePlus 8 since yesterday. Right now, closed beta 2 is available for OnePlus 8 Pro and OnePlus 8. Once the file is available for OnePlus 8T. I'll put up the download link in the description below. As said, I've been using this ROM since yesterday and haven't faced any kind of major bugs yet. Though there are a few things which you need to keep in mind before installing the ColorOS 12 closed beta files on your OnePlus 8 series. One of them is Google Play is not certified on ColorOS 12, and after that, safety net check also fails. So these two things are broken currently on ColorOS 12. And if I talk about camera, whenever I open the camera application, I get to hear a weird sound. And that's not a sound from camera application; it's a hardware sound. So you guys can listen to it. Let me open up camera application. I'm not sure if you guys were able to hear that sound. And that sound is not coming from the speaker; it's somewhere from the camera module. I'm exactly not sure whether it's only with my device. If you guys have already installed Color OS, then do let me know in the comment section below. Fingerprint unlock and face unlock seems to be working fine here. There are no issues or delays to be seen while unlocking the device using fingerprint unlock or face unlock. And now let's take a look at some of the features of Color OS 12 on our OnePlus 8. As you all know, not everyone is liking Color OS. But trust me, guys. Combination of Color OS and Oxygen OS 12 is damn good on OnePlus phones. You get extra customization options, more features, and if you use Oxygen OS 12, you don't get to see any bloat OS 2. I've used Oxygen OS 12 on my OnePlus 9 series, and there I don't get to see much of bloat OS. But when it comes to Color OS 12, Color OS 12 is basically meant for Chinese region. And in this OS, we get to see few Chinese applications pre-installed. Some of them can be easily uninstalled by long pressing on them. Still, there are few applications which can't be uninstalled, like browser, Brino shortcut, and these things can be uninstalled via ADB command or if you have root access. Now, talking about the launcher, launcher itself have lots of customization options. But one thing which I personally don't like here, we cannot adjust the layout of app drawer. But on home screen layout, we have the layout options. Where in max you can set as five into six, but that's not the case with the app drawer. Here we can only set max four tiles, but that's not a big deal. This is the quick setting panel on Color OS 12, where you get to see this thick brightness slider, and we also have a feature called PC Connect. Using this feature, you can connect your device to PC and sync your notification files, clipboard, and many more. I've also made a dedicated video on PC Connect. You guys can check out that video. I'll leave that video guide in the description below. So most of the things have been working fine, like calling. I've been using my Airtel SIM card, and till now I haven't faced any kind of issues related to calling or even Wi-Fi services. Now let me show you customization options. What we get on Color OS 12 for OnePlus 8 series. So here you can see this is the personalization section where we have lots of AOD styles, and few of them can also be customized as per your requirements. For example. Let's set one of the AOD style. So we'll choose this, and here you can see we also have the options to make changes between the text color. So if you want to change the color of the text, that can also be done from here. And later, just tap on Apply, and there you can see Always On Display also works fine. After that, we also have this theme section now. Tapping on it will redirect you to the theme store. And one feature which I personally like on Color OS is this wallpaper color picking. So by selecting this wallpaper color picking, device will adapt to essence color based on the wallpaper. So let's tap on Apply. Okay. And now let me show you the color. So as you can see here, essence color of the device have been changed. Now let me also show you within different wallpaper. We'll apply this wallpaper. Soon you apply wallpaper, accent color gets changed. So this is one feature which is still missing on Oxygen OS 12. After that, we also have many options to switch between fingerprint animations. Later, we have this edge lightning feature on Color OS 12. We have this add-on of using edge lightning for incoming calls too. And at last, a video ringtone feature. Now talking about dark mode on Color OS 12, 
and here you can adjust the dark mode styles. Most OnePlus users were tired of that grayish background while using while using dark mode on their devices, but we have options to adjust the styles now. Like for enhance, once you select enhance, the entire background while using dark mode will be pitch dark. Then we have an option of medium which is slightly grayish and then gentle and this gentle is similar to dark mode what we have seen on oxygen os 11. another option what you get to see here is the adaptive contrast this will automatically adjust the screen color contrast intensity according to the ambient light condition so pretty good feature after that we have some special features like flexi window smart slide bar smart slide bar can be accessed from the home screen and from here if you tap any application that application will open up in floating windows and here we have the restrictions of using only one application in floating windows talking about screen recorder feature so here screen recording also has some additional features for example if you are into gaming you can also record your face cam using front camera here you can see we have an option called record front camera video once you turn it on you can also record face cam while you are doing game recording quite a handy feature for gamers till now battery backup also seems to be pretty great and here in the battery graph, you'll have two different color codes like green for normal and if your device sees high usage of battery, then on the graph, you'll see orange color. That will only pop up when your device is using more battery. And at last, we also have this one-handed mode, which wasn't available on Oxygen OS 11. So you can use this one-handed mode on devices having larger screen. So guys, this was a quick look on Color OS 12 for OnePlus 8 series. You guys let me know in the comment section below whether you guys want a complete review on this or not. If you guys agree to it, we'll do a complete review. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.